hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. Repairs have completed, and we're getting ready to get going. Getting ready to run. Thumbs up. We're counting them down. And away we go. Back in action after an extended break. On to this TikTok. Let's see. Get his positioning just right. Looking for the dismount into the X drops, the X wings. Shades right away into the first one. Let's see if he can hang on for the drop. No problem there. Just transfer across. Michael Billion moves on now into the salmon ladder combo, the extending ladder. Nice back swing, timing that. Ascent in these giant rungs. Got to go out and around each time. Slamming at home. Steering on the salmon ladder. Got to twist. Twist this ring. The twist and fly. Once he locks that into place, it's going to be up to him to transfer from one of the sky hooks over. Takes the move. Tips and grips onto that next ring. Let's get those. Hips under control there. He can easily transfer on to the air surfer. And here he goes, climbing up. Grabbing on to the air surfer here. First move. Oh, a little off angle, but saves it. Next one up, overshoots the platform. That's his first slip, so he's got, oh man, he's got the buckets to go, and now just has to finish in time. These last two obstacles to count. Grab it onto the top of the buckets. Leaping forwards. Makes the first grab. Trying to get straight here. Big throw. Not able to get on top enough, and that's going to do it for him. That's his two falls, and that's going to be over. Probably, thankfully, doesn't have to run outside into the cold. <laughs> and even colder ice now that it's the sun has set. And Michael Bailey, nice try on stage two. Coming up next, Bart Copeland. One of our sponsors here, Mr. Bart Copeland. Heard me talk about him earlier. Copeland precast, all those precast products. And no one beats Copeland's precast products. Let's see if Copeland himself can beat stage two. He's gonna mix it up out here. Grab and hold, hold on tight, pulling up. It's been on. A&W before in the past, climbing his way up now. It's been a while now since he's been on the show, but he still likes to train in his facility. Nice jump really quick now, coming off of the TikTok. 20 seconds in, it's a little more chalk from Jake. Leaping on to the X-Wings. Nice transition. Quick moves here. Got to get that reverse grip. Come on up, Bart. Hold on tight. Not able to get one hand, but he's got one more. One more fail available. Straight to the salmon ladder. Let's see if he can handle these extending rungs. A little caught there, but still up and over, sliding in. Out and around. Ooh, that was close on the left side. One more. Nice job. Come on. Get to the clear top. Clears on the salmon. 
Hang in there, Bart. See if he can get his hips in the right direction. Nice transition right away. Showing his efficiency on the sky hook. Make the move across. Oh, just short on the transfer. Oh, you can see it in his face. He is just a little frustrated there with the pop of the hips. Not quite able to get the ring off and onto the next sky hook. Nice try, Bart. Appreciate the support and the sponsorship out here. We're gonna move on to the next competitor, which is gonna be Tyre Kurtzel. TK Ninja Tricks. And already on the course moving. We're gonna try to pick up that pace here. We've got TK on the course. Trying to ball up and get on top of this pillar as best as he can into the seated position. He's a taller guy, so might have an easier job reaching that bar as long as he times his jump. Big swings here. Nice work and gets a quick dismount. Grabbing some chalk there. Looking for the X wings. Right away into it, and here goes the reverse grab. Hold him tight. Nice job. And now into the dismount. Great work. Tyler's heading Sorry on. Sorry about the time there, folks. It's left over from the last competitor. Tyler's going on now to the salmon ladder, the extending rungs. Been rather challenging out and around moves. Kind of forces a really big move. He's got the explosiveness. Gets the clear there. Starts working his way over. Nice moves coming through the sky hooks. Oh, making sure he's got the momentum needed. So far, so good for TK. Here we go now, on the way up the air surfer. On to the handles here. First one, dead center, hopping across to the end. Gets the third one, transitioning out to the UFO grab. Can he make this grab? Got the sides. Just has to get out of there. Stick the landing, don't fall back. That's a clear, nice work. Now it's gonna be on to the buckets of chalk. Grabbing one, grabbing two, tried to hurry. But he, that was his first fail, so now he's got to go suffer in the cold. <laughs> Taking the shirt off. Ooh, less shirt, less power. Less, less shirt, oh, more power. Oh, the shirt goes in the water. And the shirt he just took off to try to keep dry, he brought it with him. <laughs> We've got a wardrobe malfunction. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. And there, oh, God oh. bless America. <laughs> Wet Zantes. <laughs> Having a little bit of fun with it. The best way to go. But nice job, TK. Only one little slip up there. And splash in the crowd. Like the splash zone at SeaWorld. Great job. Tyler, on now to old T. Scott. Mr. Scott's on the course, getting ready to go. Looks like Joe Meisner is stepping up to the starting line. I wonder if something happened with uh, Tage. Mm, okay, apologize. We got uh, Meisner on right now, perhaps. I'm trying to confirm who's got, who's up next. Ninja Master uh, webpage is showing that Mr. Scott would be the one to go. Looks like that's the plan. Yep, get some confirmation.
And here we go, jumping up. Nice grab on to the TikTok. He's got to wrap those legs around. Pull his way up. Slowly but surely working his way to the top of this pillar. Big leap. Nice work. Sticks to the landing. Grabbing a little chalk here to make sure he's going to have the necessary grip. Leans on out. And flying on these X-Wings. Looking for the reverse grip here. Oh, just missed on the grip. Shaking his head. A little frustrated. He couldn't quite stick that move like he wanted to. So now it's all or nothing. No more fails are allowed. On to the extending salmon ladder rungs. Gets that switch grip. Good power here. Out and around. Got to watch that left side, though. Just, oh, get it. Oh, wow. Went all the way up and over, skipping that last big rung there. Excellent move. And rotates the sky hook right away, getting it into that locked position. Make sure he's got the swing tech required here. He's a little crooked here. Ooh, once those hips start to oscillate, getting that big circle motion, it's not easy to adjust. Got to be really straight. This is challenging. The more you fight it, the more it seems like it's working against you. Trying to figure out how to settle. There he is. Just had to wait it out. Makes the transition. And getting on out of there as quick as he can. Yeah, certainly going to eat up a lot of strength there. Shaking out, making sure he's going to have a little grip. A little bit of a break for his grip. And on to this air surfer. Make sure it's nice and centered. Watch that one side. There he goes. He's aware. But watch those corners. Oh, oh! overshot. Overshot that one side. Nice try. Mr. Scott. Well, let's see if we can go back and look at that. You can see he just gets one side. Oh. Nice try. Right, up next. Joseph Meisner should be on the platform getting ready to run. Looks like the judges are talking about something or just double checking, I think, times and whatnot, so we might see what the deal is here in a second, but we're going to keep on moving. Start, starting to get a little late in the night. We're trying to wrap things up. This is competitor number 36 out of 73. We are getting there. Joseph Meisner getting ready to run. Joe, let's see how he does. Big leap up, keeps those hips nice and high. Aware that he has to stay nice and high, even on the back swing. And starts using those handles to start climbing up, getting into that standing position for transition here. Looking for the move. Back and forth we go. Big leap. And gets a dismount 21 seconds in. A three minute 15 second time limit. First X, no problem. A maxing X hold brought to you by Stronghold. And then this custom one, similar to the show. Big reverse grip. Nice job, Joe. Out and done with X marks to spot. Getting a little more chalk. 
Let's see if you can hang tight here for these extending ladder rungs. Up he goes. Nice switch grip tech. Good use of those hips and knee drive all the way up, conserving as much explosiveness that he can. Let's see. Oh, wrong side of the, of the straps, and there it is. Locks it into place. Kicks up nice and high to get that swing going in the right direction again. Transfers over and quick move to get the dismount. Lines it up, and he's on out of there. Here we go. On to the air surfer. It's got to be very precise. Landing on those platforms. Minute 35. Roughly coming in. A few more to go. Three more obstacles. Lining up here for the first toss. Does he want to overshoot, undershoot, or get a skew? Nice dead center. Nice Joe. Hopping in a little closer to the edge. Up and over oh, to the ledge. Oh, what a save. Backs backwards, backwards. Get it back. Oh, my goodness. UFO time. And get the dismount. Get on out of there. Mr. Meisner, excellent job. What an absolute save from Joe Meisner there. And into the bucket grab. Chuck it for the bucket. Quick twist here to get that swing going. Ooh, oh, he's got it's a close. Off angle. Now he's got to get to that red. Oh, look at that. Already able to twist and hits the pillar on the way outside. And going to, oh, careful, it's going to be a little slick. Into the water he goes. Climbing the ladder. And back up through. Hit that buzzer. Great job. Round 255 for Mr. Meisner. Full clear. Our first full clear of stage two. Yeah, just a great run from Joe there. Enzo is up right now. Electric Enzo, a &W Jr. competitor, graduated on to a &W Actual. Getting ready to go, stage two, here he goes. Once they make sure everything is set in place, Electric Enzo up and into it. Starts trying to get his body climbing up like a spider monkey into the swinging pillar. It's getting a little crooked here. Ooh, he's trying to trying to line this up just right. Doesn't want to hang there too long. Every move is going to tax you just a little bit. And 25 seconds out onto the second obstacle. Nice moves on the X wings. Go for the big reverse grab. Gets in there. Gets a transfer off very smooth into the salmon ladder now. Got to make sure he keeps the pace. Doesn't want to make any mistakes. Takes a second here to catch his breath. Leaps. Feels the bar out. Gets the first move. Second big move out and around. Three big rungs here for out and around. Centered. Ooh, gets a skew. He's got to go up one more. It has to be on both. Nice job. Good save. It's one-handed transfer here. Smart move. A little hung oh, up. He's a little hung up now. Got to twist it. Get it back into place. Now he's got it locked in. Get those hips back in the right direction. Gets the transfer, excellent work. Moving on to the last couple of obstacles. Minute 45, roughly on the time.
taking a Taking a lot here. of rest here. Yep. 315. So he's got to be efficient. really quick uh, just a couple of sponsors here thank you so much to our sponsors for helping us out with this event so many good sponsors helping make this event possible and uh, we definitely appreciate it but uh, we're getting reset here Strat and we got on the move who's up next Seth Lambert training out Angles were out sometimes. But the of an extended course such as this, many of you one and done style. to the X's. Has to have a good swing. corner still. Seems like he favors one side.
try. Paul Woods getting ready to run. 40 out of 7. Climbing his way up. Trying to get into a good position here for the jump. A lot of swing, trying to find timing here. Great job. Paul gets the dismount. Moving on now to the X-Wings. See how he attacks this obstacle. First move, no problem. Now he's got to get the big swing into the reverse grip. Ah, just show for a quick move. Into the salmon ladder we go. Extended rungs on the way. Not an issue for Paul so far. All the way to the top. Great job. And starts his moves towards the sky hook. Twist and turn. Looking for the toss across. Nice move. Takes a second to take another swing. And on out of there for the air surfer. Leaping up to the ropes and begins his ascent. Onto those handles. Looking for the moves up and over. Dead center. One more. Ooh, a little skew. Fixes it, though. And into the UFO grab. Ooh. Twists and turns. One more little toss. Going to get out of there. Great job. Paul, you got two more to go. Those buckets will dump you right out. Third one's a go. Get out of there. Nice dismount. Cutting the corner here. Careful on the turn here. Coming in quick. Jumping into the water. Climbing up the slide. Taking the victory lap. Coming on down. Into the freezing water through the fire. Nice job, Paul. Was able to save it after having just a mix, uh, just that slight miss. And moving on. Potentially uh, top 50%. Getting there. We're moving in and grooving now. Appreciate the patience. Everybody hang out with us. And up next, we have John Mack, number 41. Caden waving to the camera there. Current last man standing from American Ninja Warrior Season 13. Spoiler alert. You haven't caught up on this season as of yet. Sorry if I ruined it for you. That happened early this year. Just earlier this summer, a few months ago. Competitors have to wait all summer long after it actually happens before we're even allowed to talk about it. So go check out to see how we got, got to that point as the last man standing. But right now we've got John Mack ready to attack the course.
Leaping up. Hold on tight. Good save. Had a big drop coming down off of that magnet. Pulling his way into the seated position. And pretty taxing right off the bat. Ooh, I know that feeling. Get the cramp in the toes. Oh, no, you hate to see it. Oh, man. Cramping up. Cramping up on the toes. Doesn't feel good. Especially mid-run. Looks like he had a cramp in his calf and toes, but he's not letting it affect him. Ah, mentally, he just wanted to try to push through it. See how he does on the salmon letter now. Up one. Good pace here. Acting like those big rungs weren't an issue whatsoever. Going on now to the sky hook. Twisted it in position, lock it into place. Start trying to get that transition here with a big toss across. And get that momentum built up. Good job, Paul. Come on. John Mack going through now. John attacking the course here, looking for looking for the move on the air surfer. It is slippery on those sides. First move, no problem. And do the same thing again. Hold. Don't swing too hard or it's gonna slip right off. Oh my gosh, right at the corners. Crabs. Oof. Coming down. Not Able to make the transition. Saw that it was right there on the ledge. Had to go for the UFO. Almost got it. Nobody nice try, John. Got Nolan on the course right now. At the start line, are ready to go. Sure everything is good to hook. Taking a second to reset, make sure everything looks good. Number 42. Get thumbs up. Has his earphones in. Almost ready. It's like Max is taking over timing duties. Max and Caden. Look at the chalk members have been rotating those responsibilities out. Great job to these youngins. And here we go. No one on the course right now trying to pull his way up onto that TikTok. Got to 
get into that seated position. Looks like it would be an easy way to get cramped up and just be totally disoriented. But he's got it figured out. Now he's got to get that jump across and over to the bar for the dismount. Thinking about it, trying to eye that transition, jumping out to it. Great job, Nolan. Doesn't need the chalk going straight into the X's. Grab and goes. Going for the reverse grab here. Catches and holds. Nice job. Looking for the dismount here. And right away off of the platform. Great work. Here we go now on to the salmon lighter combo. He leaps out. Starts working his way up these extended rungs. Unfazed by the changes. Impressive to see Sam Lander technique evolve with time into the twist and fly skyhook combo. We're going to hold, getting on out of there. Great job, Nolan. Rope to rope into the sky surfer, air surfer. Hold on tight. Nice transition. Showed great tech on the salmon lighter, and this would apply right, right on up there. No problem. Let's see if he can grab onto this UFO. Ooh, thought he was going to overshoot it a little bit, but, man, sticks the landing. He's just got three more big moves to make. And then it's just haul and tail outside to the frigid temperatures. Shaking out, making sure he can get this. Hasn't had any mistakes yet. On par to go for a full clear here. First bucket in hand. Goes for the second one. Oh, just undershoots it onto the front side. He's got to run outside now. He's got to take out his ear his earphones, throwing out his <laughs> throwing out the, the shirt and the earphones. All the way up. And all the way down, out of the water. Get that buzzer with time to spare. That's going to do it. And drying off as fast as he can. Man, great run by Nolan. Almost a full clear. That should put him in a good position, potentially for stage three. Next up, we got Taylor Green. I believe that's who we are looking at coming up. Oh, stand corrected. Stand by here, make sure we got the run order correct. Grab it on to the, ooh, hold on tight. Not Taylor here, we got Kean O'Boyle. Kean O'Boyle on the course right now. Getting a rerun from earlier. Got a confirmation from the course sheriff. And moving into the X-Wing here. Grips on to the reverse. And nice. Pops his hips back in order to get that swing just right for the dismount. Here he goes now. Salmon ladder time. Oh. Oh, just couldn't get both uh, both bars or the bar onto both rungs there, and that's going to do it for Mr. O'Boyle. All right, now on to Taylor Taylor Green. Once we get things set, see Cam out there helping out, Genie Ninja hanging out up there as well. We got Caden Forsha up there resetting obstacles. Also, ninjas helping ninjas. That's the name of the game. Hard to find a more helpful and accepting community. <clears throat> All right. 
Here we go now, Taylor Green. Big jump, nice job climbing up here. Had a little misslip with that leg. Got to make sure staying nice and high. Good transition into the seated position here. Let's see her work around for the jump. She's got her center of gravity pretty high. She's trying to get the momentum built back up. Ah, just not able to make the jump across for the bar. Gets through the first X-wing and going for the transition for the reverse grab. Nice job, Taylor. Got to get to the bar. Still dismount clear on the X marks the spot. Here we go on the salmon ladder. Leaping out and starts her ascent. Ah, got one side, but not quite able to get the other. Even more challenging to do the salmon ladder when you are already on one of the lower rungs. Really have to engage the core muscles, the hip flexors, the abductors, all the abs there in order to generate that forward momentum, upward momentum to get up and around those rungs. It can't be fully extended and opening up when you're that close to the ground. Just an extra challenge there. Uh, provided by the course designers. Thanks everyone for tuning back in. We got 30 folks in the live stream right now over on the YouTube page on the Ninja Sport Network. Many thanks everyone for hanging out with us. Up now on the course is going to be Sean Williams, number 44 out of 73. Here he goes. Ooh, head up front. Really, really big jump there. Thought that was going to peel him out, but his grip looking looking strong. Transitioning now for the jump. Trying to time out this leap here. Good jump. And gets the transfer across. On the X marks the spot. Gets to that second X wing efficiently. Going for the reverse grip. Holds on for a split second, but pops right off, sadly. That's his first fail. There's one more left in the tank. How does he do on the salmon ladder? Up on the first rung. Now these rungs start to extend out and back. Good rhythm here. And then up to the finish platform, those white taped rungs at the top. Smile on his face. Looks like he's having a great time out there. Let's see if he can keep that swing nice and straight. He's got to get it off kilter a little bit in order to get it around on that twist. Uh, twisted version of the sky hooks out and over onto the second rung and gets the one-handed swing dismount excellent job moving on to the air surfer grabbing on the ropes pulling his way up here it's on the back portion Ooh, got it, got it towards the middle there. Nice. This next one is a lot smaller than that middle gap. And now he's got to have precision for the UFO. Looks like he's got it locked in. Good job on the sides. Going for the dismount. Clear coming off of the air surfer. Just got the, the bucket grabs to finish up these upper body obstacles for stage two. Shaking out. Making sure he's got enough left in the tank. Leaping onto that first bucket. Looking for the move to the second. Just held back a little bit too much. Not able to hold on, and that's going to do it for him. Nice try, Sean Williams. Looks like we've got Sawyer Cannon getting ready to go. Stephanie Hopkins saying, watching this all day long, not doing anything, making you feel lazy. Don't say that. We appreciate your company. Much appreciate you having, a, having us on the telly all day long. 
And here we go now. Sawyer. Mr. Cannon climbing his way up onto the pillar. Transitioning around. Getting a good swing here. You got to try to figure out the timing. Having a pillar like this, something you don't really have the opportunity to practice. Out of there into the X drops. Taking the time to make sure he's dead set. Here he goes now for the reverse grip. Pulls through. Nice work. Out of there. Like swimwear. Good job. Moving into the salmon ladder. Take it a second here. Breath. Let's see how it goes. Straight onto the bar. Adjusting the sides. Out and around we go. Straight into it. He's locked in on that one side, checking the checking the other corners to be safe. Up to the top rung where that paint where the uh, white tape is at. It's gonna be a clear for the salmon ladder. And it's gotta get those hips off angle just a bit to get that locked into place. We come to transfer. Nice job and transitioning through onto it. And makes it down onto the platform, moving in now to the air surfer. Sawyer coming in hot. Checking the time. Taking a breath here. Longer series of obstacles. Retaxing. So find the time to figure out the, the rest breaks. Nice placement into the middle. Hops it a little closer to the end. Got to be really precise on this last one. Ooh, a little skew on the end there, but not budging whatsoever. He's got good control onto the UFO. And dips on out of there. Great job, Mr. Sawyer. Watch your step as you transition to the next obstacle. Here we go with the button grab. Shake it on out. Leaping forwards. Nice, good twist here. That's going to help generate that swing a little bit more, but overshoots it. That's okay. That's his first fail. You can have two fails on this, and this one's going to be your victory lap up the slide and back down the other side with the little parkour over the top and hit that buzzer for good measure. Great job, Mr. Cannon. Taking it home. This bumps all around. Might be enough to get him into stage three. All right, up next, we're going to have Tyler Smith. Getting ready to go. Checking things out here. It's gonna be eyeing the course, making sure it's good to go. Max Feinberg with pizza in hand. No time for dinner breaks. He wants to get it going. Nice jump there by Tyler. And Mr. Smith climbing his way up. Four. Jump onto the bar, floats his way up there. athletes have been training for years and have some amazing setups at home. This is one of those athletes. Grabs onto that reverse grip. Not phased in the slightest. Here he goes now onto the salmon ladder combo. Utilizing his hip. The 
his hips there, pumping up that track out and around the salmon ladder, no problem. Up and down, grabbing the ring to get that twist just the right way. A little challenging. Decides to go back to the bar. He's going to go about it. Smooth move there. Just got his hips at the right angle. Not too much so that it's going to cause him to be off kilter for the transfer. And lines up the dismount here. A little off angle, though. This time, does he have enough backswing to get to the ring here? Or is he going to go for the dismount? He's just waiting for the swing to steady. And there it is. Nice job, Tyler. And he goes now onto the air surfer. Shaking out here, making sure he's got the grip required. Even more explosiveness required for this obstacle right here. It's a very upper body intensive stage two. It's the first big move on the air surfer, nicely done. One more to go. Pops it. Ooh, a little close on one side, but that's okay. He adjusts and aims for this UFO transfer. Grabs onto the sides and stays nice and straight for the dismount. Excellent work, just two obstacles to go. This last one's gonna be the last grueling upper body grabs. Gotta be very precise. It's a high percentage fail obstacle here. If you just miss it, there's very slim chance of saving it. He's on the front end of it, but he's fighting it. He's gotta center himself for the next one, which he does. Now he's gotta be able to turn and burn to get on out of there, come on, man. He's spinning around. He's got to get those hips in the right angle, wait for the swing to fix itself, and makes it to the dismount. Working his way around, he's going to be our next full clear, potentially, as long as he gets up within that time limit, up and over and around. Loses the hat on the way up and slides on his way down to the buzzer in time. My goodness. Great job. Tyler Smith, another full clear. That's going to be our third full clear on the ninjamasterapp.com. That'll help keep track of all the runners. The run order and the results are listed on that website. They are one of our sponsors here. Definitely check out ninjamasterapp.com. If you're running any kind of competitions, this is the site to help you out. Keep those things running nice and smooth. Up next on the course is going to be Jeremiah Boyd getting ready to go. And into the TikTok, wrapping those legs on the front side. Trying to climb his way up here. Getting into that seated spot, looking for the climb up. Woo, off. Off to the side of that of that bar, nice work. And the X drops, nice pop of the hips to maintain that momentum. Doesn't need much more swing than that. Oh my gosh, on the second swing, good control here. Jeremiah making short work of the obstacle that's been causing a lot of competitors a hard time. Shaking out here, leaps on to the salmon letter with that cross grip. He's working his way up, hopping and dropping. No, just come down off angle. That was his first mistake, so he can keep on going. Just look back at the judges to be sure. As stated before, some of these uh, competitors are used to just one and done type obstacle courses. Uh, here he goes now, can't fall again. Great use of the hips there to generate that forward momentum. One more time, hop and pop, no problem. Jeremiah looking for the UFO grab. Transfers over, grabs it, and looking for the dismount. And sticks the landing. Heading on out to the bucket. Has to make this transition across the three buckets. And then the tricky off-angle dismount. Grabs, hold, twists a little bit. One, hinges it. He goes on the third. Nice job. I get that sideways dismount. There it is. Perfect. And he's cutting the corner, coming out hot. Careful, slow it down. 
That's right. <laughs> Zante's are great on flat, smooth surfaces, except for concrete when it's wet. And he's sliding on down, going for the buzzer. And boom, Mr. Jeremiah Boyd, ladies and gentlemen, strong run. Excellent work. Everybody chiming in on the chat. Thanks so much for hanging out. And you are correct. The, slap, the salmon ladder has been brutal. The rungs are much larger than normal. They start off a standard size, but as you ascend further up the salmon ladder, they start jutting out more and more, which requires more explosiveness and accuracy going out and around. Speaking of explosiveness, we've got Mr. Sam Folsom on as a start line right now, getting ready to go. Champion of the UNX. Uh, competition from last year. A strong young competitor climbing his way up. All the way up onto the TikTok. Makes the transition and right away dismounts. Goes for the moves and quickly transitions onto the second one to save that grip just a little bit. Two swings is all you need. Got the swing power like he does and getting on out of there. Quick grab at the chalk. And a quick breath here to make sure he is good. Switch grip. Nice wide grip, making sure he's going to control both of these angles all the way up. Ooh, and skips the last rung. Such power out of these competitors. Moving into the twist and fly sky hook. Twists it around. He's got to get those hips in line for the transfer. Nicely done. Steadies himself slightly and over into the air surfer. You got to think about all these different obstacles. Every time you have to let go and re-grab or transition, it's a point of failure that could happen. And so these athletes are trying to take as many shortcuts as possible to limit those opportunities of failure. And now he's moving his way up through the air surfer. Great job making it through the third platform into the UFO. Oh, just missed the grab on the UFO. But now he can't make any more mistakes. This is going to be the last obstacle besides the time that he has to beat to get the clear. Mr. Folsom grabbing onto that bucket, twisting the hips, trying to line up the dismount swing. He's got to time it just right. You're swinging on just one, one swivel point up there. It's really tough to time, but he's able to dial it in. And here comes the man dash outside. Reminds me of Family Feud or Double Dare. Those days of yesteryear, running through <laughs> splish splash obstacle like that. Nice job, Mr. Folsom. I don't know how many of our viewers even know what uh, Double Dare is. Mr. Deganji, any oh. idea? Oh, I know what Double Dare is. <laughs> you I know show? what Double Dare oh, is. Oh, my goodness. Great job, Sam Folsom. Pardon my reminiscing of earlier obstacle shows. All right, coming up, we're moving in and cruising, ladies and gentlemen, on to obstacle, or on to competitor number 49, Jackson Erdos. That run from Sam put him in fourth place. Currently, with six obstacles cleared, 224 time. Right now, Jackson Erdos getting ready to go. Send City athlete. First grab, hold on tight, right there at the corner edge of that grip. And he's on out of there. Going into
moving on now, not taking much of a breather. Look at that, one-handed on the rope, just staying relaxed, nice and smooth with it. Let's see if he's got the hip pop to get up and over. Nice work. Into the third one, overshoots the left side. That is, is his first fail, so he still has one more opportunity to get a full clear, or to get a uh, these next two obstacles clear. Can't get a full clear after that slip on the air surfer, but he's doing all right so far. Hold on tight, great work. He's gonna make sure he's just right into it. Didn't want to fall backwards. Great job taking off the shirt for the run up and into. Oh, splashing the crowd up the slide, cutting that corner. Let's see, camera's just catching the side angle here. Oh, and that's gonna be a clear for uh, uh, that obstacle at the end there with just one little slip on the air server. Great job, Jackson. All right, number five, zero. Kayla Bergstrom, baby Bergstrom, coming out of Tampa, Florida. Jungle gym down there, family owned. All the Bergstroms, many of them, competitors on the show. Caleb, all over the place, traveling, competing. Love to see him out here. Just hanging out with him a couple of months ago in Nashville, Tennessee, for a state fair competition ran by Lance Picus in the Tennessee Beef Council. And we're gonna see how Mr. Caleb does on stage two. He's no stranger to multi-stage multi comps. They just ran one at the Jungle Gym not too long ago. And Caleb's seen if he can bring home the gold. Holding on tight, staying balled up, climbing onto this pillar right here, utilizing these holds on the sides. Climbing his way up, keeping that momentum going. He's got to get the swing down just right. Big leap. Good job, Caleb. Gets a little chalk. Or decide to go for the swings on the X wings. Lining up for the throw. He, oh my gosh, hold on tight. Gets one hand popped off, but saves it. Didn't even look concerned. Stayed nice and calm up there, didn't panic. Moving on now to the salmon ladder. Good control. You see him locking it in every time, making sure he's. Got control of those of those motions up the track into the twist and fly sky hook. Around he goes, locks it in. Hop and pop. Good control, great accuracy with the landings. And you can see Caleb staying nice and calm out there, even with that little uh, slip off of or on on the X-wing. It's not let him get flustered. Staying nice and calm. That's going to help him perform even that much better. Hops up onto the second track. Got one more track to go to. Whoa! Overshot. That's going to be his first slip up. He's got the opportunity to get these last two points. onto that first bucket. Slight indentations at the very top of those fingers. Not much though. Dig those fingers in slightly to help with that grip, but they tip really easy. Caleb looking for that sideways dismount and like a pro in and out of there efficiently. Opting to take his shoes off. He knows he wants to keep those things dry for tomorrow. I think he's gonna have a good enough time to move on to the next phase of the competition tomorrow. Climbing on up. And sliding on down. He's like, ooh, it is cold out here. Hit that buzzer. And that's going to be a wrap for Caleb Bergstrom. Excellent job. I'm sure he is hurting. Living at sea level down there in Tampa, Florida. Coming out here to the high altitude of Colorado. I believe we're at probably 7,000, 8,000 uh, base level. Almost seven right here in Castle Rock. My goodness, you feel it as soon as you get off the airplane. Great job, Caleb. We're on to number 51, Luke Dillon. Getting ready to run. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know how the live stream is looking. I know we were having some uh, 
connection issues earlier with some hangups, but Luke Dillon on the course right now, hitting that trampoline. Another Sand City athlete climbing his way onto the pillar. Trying to wrap those legs and arms in sync with each other. Trying to time it just right with the swing in order to be as efficient as he can. Looking for the move. And leaps out to the corner. Tries to get it at that angle so he can go ahead and make short work of the dismount. All right, great job, Luke, so far. Looking for the leap. Into the X-Wings, brought to you by Stronghold. Looking for the reverse grab. Nice job. Ooh, just had two fingers on the left hold. But again, unfazed. Little slip-ups like that can happen, but you don't. Let it mess up with your flow. Here he goes now, working his way up the salmon ladder with the quickness, with authority. Uh, got a little skew there, adjusts, and two more to go. One small one to finish. Those white tape marks are your end platform up there. Trying to maintain that swing. Got to get it out from that starting position. Works it around to the front side. Here comes the throw across. And keeps his swing nice and in line for the dismount. Great job, Luke. Here he goes into the air surfer. What we've seen be the hang-up for the most, uh, most competitors is overshooting or just getting a little askew, not realizing how much one side is ahead of the other or how much that track, how much that surfboard can actually slide on that track. So Luke climbing into it now, working his way up. Good control. Hops it up. Nice job. Dead center. Hops it a little more forward so it doesn't have to be as big of one to the third. Platform overshoots. Barely holds it on. Pulls it back. Great job. Into the UFO. Calms it down just enough to get the dismount. Great job, Mr. Dillon. Chalking up one last time here for this upper body. Final obstacle before. The slide into the frigid water. Come on, Dylan, get that third bucket in hand. Chuck it for the bucket, he's out of there. Cut that corner, go for the buzzer, but watch the slide. Coming in hot, grabs the corner, gonna start working his way up. A Little bit of a slip there, slip and slide. Shoulder roll down, ooh, ooh it's gonna be chilly. You see him ooh. soaking wet, Sand City. Great Got to job. stay next to that fire as long as you can. No, keep those flames on, please. Flame on. Dylan, great run. On now to a number 52, Noah. Uh, Noah Turnett. Getting ready to go. Noah lining up here. He was looking for, looking for the moves he needs to make. Planning it out ahead of time. Trying to visualize, figuring out each hand placement, foot placement, timing of your swing, every little move, when to dismount, all that comes into play. More you can think about it and plan it out in your head ahead of time, the more efficient you're going to be when it comes to go time. So visual, visualization is a practice I like to use a lot when it comes to competing. I try to write things out in shorthand on my phone or in a notebook. That way I've got it all figured out. All these athletes you see have their own method. You'll see them miming their motions and small motions when they're looking at obstacles kind of getting those neuron uh, pathways already uh, lined up and firing ahead of time. So when it comes time to get on the obstacles, they're already feeling like they've done this before. So we're gonna have Mr. Noah getting it ready to go here in just a second. And we're off, speaking up on to Crow's Nest. 
Tick-tock, hold on tight. Get that leg lock in there. He's working his way back and forth. Trying to time out the climb here. Can be rather taxing if you're fighting the swing. Noah's got it figured out into the standing position. Back and forth we go. Building up that swing. Big leap. Great efficiency coming down. Takes a second. As on the prize. Back swing. Ooh, almost unhinges it from the magnet. Takes one more swing to make sure he's got the momentum required. And just comes up short on the reverse grip. That's okay. Got to get the salmon ladder. Can't make any more mistakes. Noah leaps out with that switch grip. Switch grip grab and begins working his way up these rungs. Out, but not around. Tough break. Tough break, Noah. Nice try. Brandon Varner coming up next. Followed by Glenn Albright and then RJ Roman. Those are going to be our next three runners. Brandon Varner ready to go. I was working with Brandon earlier this week over at the Flow Vault, discussing some uh, injuries we've dealt with in the past. He had some issues with the wrist injury from breakdancing earlier on in his career. Never really had it taken care of until later, and now he's got very limited mobility in that wrist. But he's out here still looking strong, not going to let that phase him. And he did say he wanted people to know if you're dealing with an injury, Try to get it taken care of the right way the first time. That way it's not going to affect you more seriously later down the line. But here he goes now. Brandon on the course, climbing his way up. I like his style. Riding his, riding this TikTok back and forth. Got a lot of momentum here. Can he get the transition as easily as he got the climb up? Timing the jump. Leaps and dismounts right away. Great job. Looking for these X-Wings. It's the first toss, no problem, right away. Starts eyeing the transition for the reverse grab. Oh, just undershot that hold. Tough move. Can't make any more mistakes. Oh, he was going for a gymnast kip and just had too much on the backswing. Popped it right off the track. Brandon, tough break, my friend, but still good run, good message for all the other competitors out there. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, good try there from Brandon. All right, coming up next will be Glenn Albright. We saw Glenn put a fast and furious pace together in stage one. Ready to go. Another Colorado native here. He's used to the altitude. Trains at several gyms. Warrior Playground. Down there in Altitude. Uh, altitude Ninja as well. In Colorado Springs currently. And here we go. Ooh, onto the TikTok. Handled that drop, no problem. He's got to be able to make this transition up efficiently to save as much time and energy as he can. Back and forth we go. Trying to figure out the time of the jump here. Getting, getting the momentum built back up. Looking for the move. Oh, just short on the transfer over. All right, that's going to be... His only fail he can make. Glenn moving on now to the X-Wings. Grab it onto the first. Gets the swing. Reverse grip grab. Nice job, Glenn. Builds up that momentum once more. Gets the toss. Thought about dismounting. 
and make sure he gets a good swing for the clear. On now to the salmon ladder, taking a breath. Leaps out, looking for the transition up these rungs, out and around. Big rungs here, out and around, good power, up to the clear spot. And let's see if he can get the transition down into the altered version of the Skyhooks. Twist and fly right away, locks it in. Minute 35, out and over. Good hips underneath him and gets the dismount. On now to the air surfer. Shaking out, making sure he's got the energy required. One breath's all he needs. Into the upward air surfer we go. Checking his corners. Here comes the first move. Oof, gets it. And looking one more time. One big pop. Nicely done. A little, little close on the one side, so he's got to get out of there quick. Hold on tight. Not quite able to hold on to the UFO. Glenn, nice try, man. Still a good run. Albright. Just a little bit more in the right direction into the bucket grabs. That's okay, now we can go over to the water pit to finish up, to get that last point in time.
Runner 56 coming up right now is going to be Elijah Browning. Elijah's getting ready to go. Goes by the boss. He's got a trading card business. Entrepreneur here. And a strong competitor. Made it to the end of stage two this season on A&W. Just couldn't quite hold on to the final uh, X marks to spot. But he's been training hard at his home gym in his backyard. And all over the Pops it up the first track. Out and around we go. Salmon liner. Line up now for the twist and turn. Sky hook. Line this up just right. Ooh, quick transition. Got to line those hips up before it goes for the transfer. Gets the landing. So far, just that one slight miss on X marks the spot. So he can't make any more mistakes. Here he goes now onto the air surface. He's familiar with this obstacle. He's done it several times. Nice technique here. Coming on to the UFO grab. Hold on tight. Did the air surfer in Vegas, stage two, and in his qualifying rounds in the southeast. So no stranger to that obstacle. Nice job onto the bucket grab. Can't mess up on this. He wants potential for making it into that top 50% for stage three. You can out, hold on tight. Grabbing and going. Making one more move for the dismount. Right on the corner of the dismount. Nice job. Does he have the time to get there? Careful on the slide around. Coming up the water slide. Down he goes. Into the buzzer. Don't think he got all the way through in time. It's going to be close to see. I'll have to get confirmation from the judges. We'll check Ninja Master app. To see where he stands after that run. All right, right now we got a Harry. Hadelman, headband Harry, getting ready to go. Followed by Jay Lisa Himka, and then Jonah Taggart. They are next three runners. Ron, runner 57 of 73 for stage two. And Headband Harry leaping up on to the TikTok. Starts trying to work his way around, locks those legs in, hooks his heels. Starts climbing his way up. Back and forth. Taking a little time here to make sure he gets all the way. Can't open up too much here. You know, on the front end, ah, just struggles a little bit too much doesn't want to burn out and realizes he's gonna to have to move on and Harry's just 
not able to get those first two obstacles. Shrugs, shrugs it off. That's okay. It happens. Like I said, sometimes when you go late into the night,
effort by Jonah. Can't quite hold on to it. On to our number 60, Sean Arms. Ooh, big leap. Nice high grab. Uh, not quite able to hold on. Dismount because he knows those toes must have dragged all. Looking for the transition down. And transitioning over onto the salmon ladder, climbing his way up. And starts making his moves up these rungs. Come on, Sean. Use those arms as your namesake says. Nice job around, out and around these big rungs here. Sean putting in the work here. Nicely done. Clear on the salmon ladder. Twisting it around. Going for the toss across with that ring in hand. Looking for the next one. Going for the back and forth swing. Gets the dismount. Just had that miss on the very first obstacle. Into the air surfer we go. Sean Arms, one of our smaller competitors, to be able to make it all the way up that extended rung salmon ladder. He's got to be able to have that same technique. Popping up over those rungs. Popping up over onto... The air surfer, big one. Oh my gosh, the corner there saved it. Going for it again. Nice job, Sean. This young man looking strong. Got to get to that UFO. Hold on tight. Twists in and out. Gets the dismount, Sean. Killing it here. Smile on his face, looking confident. Just got the bucket grabs to go before running outside up the slide. Big leap. Thinking the time might be a factor, but oh, not able to catch that next one. Nice run. Regardless of the start, he didn't let it phase him. Sean Arms putting his arms through the ringer. Nice try, young man. Big jump here, moving on. We've got on the course right now, Pax Karslaw coming out of the Steel City Ninja, climbing his way up on to the birdhouse. Crow's nest, getting back and forth swing, trying to get it just right. Back and forth we go. Gets the transition onto the bar and hopping on down. Next wing move on the front side. Right away into the next move. And here comes a reverse grab. Ah, oh, had his hips back, was hoping to have enough tension when he grabbed, but just came up short a little bit into the switch grip grab up the salmon lighter. Make sure the sides are gonna be nice and even. Up the medium sized rung and now into these triple larger extended rungs. Checking his corners. Around he goes. To the top he goes, clear on the salmon ladder. He gets both up there, that is, and there it is. Into this modified skyhook. Extended obstacles like these are e extremely challenging. You've got a variety of skills you have to use with little breaks in between. You got to rely on that grip not to give out while hanging and swinging, trying to maintain that explosiveness. So here goes Pax, up and over. Perhaps hold of that dismount ring. 
Swinging through. Nicely done right there on the ledge. Still in it. Even though he had one slip up, he can't slip up anymore. Here we go into the air surfer. Going to do the, ring, the ropes here real quick. Starts his ascent here. Trying to look at the corners over. Timing out his hip pop here. Pop it up. Ooh, right on the backside, but still able to inch it forward a little bit. See him trying to do it one more time. With that third platform. Pop it over. Great job. He's got to get that dismount now onto the UFO. Hold on, Pax. No, just on the front side. And that's going to do it for him. As to... Nice try. It's the high five. And the hug. Nice run. Moving on now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on to the final. Few runners coming up to our, almost to our last 10 here. Kai Ackle, number 62. Kai getting ready to run. He's getting ready to run here, making sure the course is reset. getting there slowly but surely making sure the course is set Kai's getting some last minute words of encouragement there talking things over it's nice to stay relaxed out there with your friends and Kai rocking the maker tank top like he's ready to go well let's just hope this run is as beautiful as his hair luscious locks it's gonna give Daniel Gill a run for his money Rocking the Dragon Ball Z hat backwards. Love to see it. Big leap up. Hold on tight. It's going to send you for a ride. Kai pulling his way up on to the crow's nest. Back and forth we go. Could almost reach out straight to that bar. He's almost kicking the thing with his foot here. He's got to time it out just right. He's got a lot of power, but can he control that power? Nice transition. And gets the dismount. 25 seconds, no problem. Taking a second to catch his breath. Sometimes those first obstacles can spike that heart rate right away and make the following obstacles even more challenging. Into the X drops. Back and forth we go, looking for that reverse grab. Hips up and just undershot the grab. It's the only slip up he can have here. He wants to get a spot potentially onto stage three. Grab some chalk. Taking a second to collect himself. And leaps out with the cross grip, preventing that bar from spinning. Out and around the first. And uses that explosiveness. Out and around all the way. Two more to go. And just has to get it up into the finish rungs for the clear on the salmon ladder. Starting to build up that swing one more time. Back and forth. Gotta get it unhinged. There it is. Locks it into place. Looking for. Ooh, the swing's gotta be steady. He's gotta try to fix his hips here. He's off a little bit. He's gonna have to kick into it and just try to wait it out. It's hard to fight the swing. You can see him a little frustrated up there. He's gotta fight the swing. Trying to shake out his grip slightly. Come on, brother, fight it. You can see the energy on his face trying to fight. Looks like it settled down enough for the throw, but not enough energy there at the end. Nice try, Kai. That can be challenging once those hips 
and that swing get off axis, it's very difficult to salvage. That's all right. Moving on to our final 10 runners. Ladies and gentlemen, just once again, I want to say the live stream might have its issues right now here and there, but after the fact, we should have all this saved and available to be uploaded onto YouTube, so you'll still be able to see this. Uh, despite the lags that we've had, the lag spikes here and there, should be able to get all these runs uploaded to the YouTube page, so please bear with us as we get that later down the line. Here we go now. On the course is Luke Beckstrand, not quite able to reach the jump. That's all right. He's going to move on. Looking for the X toss. Grab it on the first one. For the reverse grip. Can he get nice and high? That he does. Building up that momentum one more time to get that dismount out of there. Kai and or Luke. Luke Beckman is one of our smaller competitors. So it's going to be a little more challenging for some of those bigger jumps and bigger moves. But not letting that get in his way here. Looking at these big rungs. Ah, oh, went for it. Sometimes you got to just go for it. Great try. Yeah, I mean, not the run that he wanted tonight, but that kid has a very bright future in the sport. Definitely. you got, you got to love these kids out here that are challenging themselves, pushing themselves. Knowing what they signed up for was a pro-level competition, no age divisions whatsoever. Say, hey, you want to try? Come on out. You can't be too upset at the results for some of these, some of these competitors. Moving on now to the maker himself, Kevin Carbone, recently moved out here in Colorado, has his maker craft business, sending out obstacles. We saw his obstacle, the gotta go in stage one, and now he goes on to the climb up, but tapped the pad on the way forwards. That swing was just too strong couldn't keep those hips high enough to keep those feet from touching the pad below him into the X cross. Oh, going for a little bit of a beta break. Technique we haven't seen yet. Nicely done. Oh, the way back just didn't have Oh, it just didn't have the accuracy required for that quick move right away on the salmon ladder. Nice try, Kevin. Here we go now. On to uh, competitor number 65, Vincent Castronova, coming up next. Getting close to being wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen, as we wind down the evening. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I'm Ryan Stratus, your commentator, alongside Chris Deganji, who's been maintaining uh, the live stream as best as possible out on the floor, making sure camera batteries stay fresh, camera crew staying, staying fresh as well. Appreciate all of the assistance from Ninja Intensity, family and staff alike. Much appreciated. And another shout out yet again to our sponsors for helping and providing all the support here. Stronghold providing a lot of different variety of holds out there on the course, multiple stages, multiple obstacles. We'll probably see one of the other sponsors coming out tomorrow, Pro Lift Crane. Who knows what that's going to be, how that will be incorporated. Imagine a very tall rope climb potentially for stage four. But right now we've got Vincent Castronova on the course, grabbing on to the TikTok. Pulling his way back, getting those legs locked on. I must have scraped at some point on the way back. Gonna watch that footing on those lower obstacles. Here he goes now on the X, marks the spot. Short work on the obstacle that's been giving everybody a hard time. 
Here he goes now. On to the salmon ladder. Extended rungs. Making sure that swing is in control before he begins his ascent. And taking his time here to try to get it just right. Ooh, got a little hung up. Got to watch that corner. Look out. Go. Good reflexes. Get out of town. Vincent, nice try. Had a great pace at the start for stage one. Stage two didn't quite pan out the way he wanted. That's all right. That's the name of the game. A little bird's eye view of the reset on how those obstacles get magnetized and put into place. Next competitor stepping up to the platform is going to be Jesse the Jet Lucero. Followed by James, James Anella. And then Noah Munier. We are next three competitors. All right. Here we go. on the ropes, ascending his way onto the surfboards. He begins his throws. Gets the first one. He's going to line up for his next transition. Out and across. Great job. UFO grab. Great job. Twists around. Looking for the dismount. Making sure he's got enough swing there. Body obstacle, the bucket grabs. Ah, oh, just short change the middle one. Not able to hold on. It's going to do it for Jesse. now to James Anella. Make sure we got everything lined up.
We've got James up right now, followed by Noah, Noah uh, Munir, and then Brett Strong are our next three athletes. And here he goes, James on the course, grabbing onto the TikTok. Lock those legs in, wrapping around here, pulling his way up. And getting the swing built up just right. Good transition, and right away for the dismount. Making sure he's got the speed required. Making it on to the second one. Looks for the reverse grab. Nice job. Back and forth we go. And great technique here for the swings and the dismounts. Yet another Sand City athlete. Here he goes now. Salmon ladder time. Oh, right away. Utilizing that forward swing. Up and over. That is himself. Oh, a little skew. Fixes it. And that's going to be a clear for the Salmon. And dropping down onto that skyhook combo. Back and forth we go. For the transfer across, nicely done. And maintaining the grip. Oh, matching on there. Might have might have hung him up slightly because it gets those hips kind of out of whack, but patient enough to be aware and get that safe dismount. So James taking a second to collect himself. Looking for his ascent up these ropes onto the sky the air surfer. Almost called the Sky Surfer, I don't know how many times. I've lost track. But here he goes, James, looking for that transfer up and over. Good foot tech, you see him do a little kick there. Help generate that momentum. Up oh, and on. A close. Ooh, that one side. On to the UFO grab, nicely done. Out of there. Good work, James. So far, so good. Just around a minute 15 remaining. Two final obstacles to go for a potential full clear. Leaping onto these buckets. Those fingertips have got to be burning by now. Onto that third one. Ooh, he's a little stretched out, but still good save. Try to get those hips just in line for that off angle dismount. And even harder and nice accuracy there. Now the sprint to the outside. He goes, cutting corners, thinking about whether or not he wants to take his shoes off. He just wants to get a fast time. He's like, I'll let these things dry later. James up to the top, plopping on down and going for the buzzer right through the fire pillars. Full clear, another full clear, I believe, for James Zanella. Great job. That's going to do it for Mr. James. Well, James must have had a uh, slip up somewhere. He's got six points, so that run put him at 12th place, 246, 78 for a time with six points. I believe it was the. All right, Noah Munir up right now, followed by Brett Strong, and then Asa Reynolds. Next three competitors. Take a second here real quick, folks. Make sure we're good to go. Of course, it's going to be reset. We'll be doing a few more runners to go. And here goes Noah on his run, climbing up into the TikTok, climbing his way up here. Getting into a good standing position. Nice leap and nice transition down onto the platform. Right away into the cross. Holds on the crosses here. The X grab. Nice transition over onto the reverse grip. 
moving smoothly. Just to Noah. Cross grip here on the salmon ladder, getting adjusted here. Going to go out and around these big runs. Working his way up. Ooh, man, barely got to that last one up and around. Still moving good. On to this skyhook version. Twisting it out. Back and forth we go. Skyhook achieved. Looking for that swing through. Nicely done. Chalking up here. Rope grabs, no prop into the air surfer. We go, trying to build up that swing. It goes the first transition over. Starts swinging up for the third platform. A little off to the angle, good save there. Going on to the UFO. Nice swing and dismounts down. Nice work, Noah coming in. Boy, the final upper body obstacle of the bucket toss. Bucket of chalk. Shaking out, making sure he is good to go. Not quite able to grab that second bucket there. And looking to take his shoes off and nope, just gonna hurry up here. Wants to make sure he can finish within the time limit. Loses the shirt, loses the shoes. No shirt, no shoes, no problem. Noah coming around the corner, sliding in, hitting that buzzer. One slip up there on the bucket grab. Nice try. Up next is going to be Brett Strong. Brett Strong at the start line, getting ready to run, followed by Asa Reynolds and then Kai Beckstrom. Ethan Swanson, and then Hans Hertz for our final few runners of the evening. Counting him down, and here he goes up and over. Trying to hook those hook, try to hook those legs on. But timing it out. Try not to fight the swing. Can be pretty taxing in this position. Going to use those handholds there to assist with the lift. Nice job, Brett. Pulling his way up. Looking for the leap across. Big jump out. It's that side dismount clear. Obstacle one, chalking up. Four X marks to spot. Good transition onto the first one. And making the moves here, making sure he's got the swing built up enough for the reverse grip and just undercut it. But moving right away into the salmon ladder. No, he's got to have a good enough pace order to keep moving. Start banging out these salmon ladder rungs. Like it doesn't even matter that they extend that far out into the skyhook combo. Trying to, trying to figure out how to twist this thing back into the right position. Hopping out and over. And right away, excellent technique there to transition out of that obstacle on to the air surfer. And leaping up onto the ropes. Got the first toss, nicely done. Next, next toss, no problem. 
UFO grab. Oh my gosh, goes with an overreach. Uh, uh, unique technique I haven't seen em employed very often, if at I, all. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I've seen that done before on 2x4s that have a lip that you were supposed to grab, but man, on a UFO, not that I remember, and not on the bucket, no. Couldn't hold it. Revenge of the bucket. No. <laughs> nice try, Brett. Man, tough break. Yeah, you know he's disappointed with that one. Yeah, nice try, Brett. Good run. We'll move on to Asa Reynolds at the start line, followed by Kai and then Ethan Swanson and Hannes Hertz. Final four runners of the night. Goes Asa right now, grabbing onto that TikTok, working his way up. Clinging to that thing for dear life. It's got to be a weird feeling having that momentum and that center of gravity be all over the place as you try to ascend and climb to that standing position for the transfer. Off onto that bar and dismounting right away. Excellent technique there. Good swings into the X. X holds. And excellent. Just floats right up there into the reverse grip. And again, you see these athletes popping those hips, leaving them behind just enough to have that momentum so it doesn't require an extra swing for the dismount. Asa looking for these salmon ladder rungs up and over and around. Watch those corners. Oh, Ooh, little, little Got to fix it here. Excellent job. Just one more pop up to get the clear on the salmon ladder. Looking for the sky hook combo. Great transition. Still keeping those hips in line. Looking for the toss across. And steadies that swing. Great dismount into the sky surfer, air surfer. My goodness, it's getting late <laughs> tonight here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to start doing push-ups every time I say Sky Surfer. It's going to be a lot of push-ups. It is. And here he goes, Asa. On to the Air Surfer here. Handles in hand. Ooh, Ooh he's close. Skew. Transitioning up and over again. One side's a little more in front of the other. Great grab on the UFO. Twists to get on out of there. Just um, coming up on one minute remaining. Trying to get through as fast as you can. Top 50% of the athletes will be moving on to stage three tomorrow. Asa taking that time, making sure that grip's going to be good to go for these last few grabs here. Swinging back, catching on to the middle bucket. Back and forth up into the third. Ooh, good transition down. Nice job. Got to cut that corner. Out we go into the frigid waters of Castle Rock. Taking the shoes off. Up the slide he goes. And it's one way up, one way down. Come and on. And into the water. <laughs> and there it is. Nicely done. Yeah, great run there from Asa. That puts him in fourth place with seven obstacles. Cleared with the time of two minutes and 56 seconds, point 42. Great job. Up next is going to be Kai Bextrand.
legs on the back. It's through the salmon letter combo. Twist the sky hook into that lock position. Pops across. Steadies that swing. Gets the dismount. Nice job. And here we go now on the air surfer. Taking a second here. Two minutes to go with a time of three minute, 15 second time limit. Get this move up. Nice job, Kai. And make a move up to the third platform. And just misses one side. That's going to be the first slip. He can't make any more mistakes. Got to be able to nail these last few moves on the bucket. Chuck it for the bucket. Just loses his grip there, Kai. Nice try. Last two runners coming up next is going to be Ethan Swanson. Out here in Colorado now, was out in Chicago, but now he is located here in lovely Colorado. Coaches here at Mid Intensity. Coaches the team kids and all over the place. Swanson into this obstacle. Climbing his way up on it to the pillar. Good efficiency. Gotta watch those legs. Putting those knees down. Trying to get to that standing position here. And good leap. Great transition down. Into X marks the spot. Gotta have a big back pull. Nice high grab. Great reverse grip on these X holds. And Lachey's on out of that. Great job, Ethan into the salmon ladder. Leaps right away, still setting a good pace here, controlling that swing. Checking those corners, it's out in the round rungs. Fired that much more explosiveness. One hand, but saves it at the very end. Keep on moving. Try to twist this out and lock it in place. Great technique here. Veteran moves, efficiency. Keeping those hips in control, steadying his swing before the dismount, right there on the corner. Great job, Ethan. Looking at the air surfer here. Ethan has been keeping that streak alive of a backflip every day. He is well within, like well into the 1,000 <laughs> of his backflips, daily backflips. I'm sure we'll see him post another one at some point in time today, but here it goes now on to the air surfer. It's been a lot of backflips. It is. Swan knows how to fly. Hopping his oh, way up. Oh, close. Right on the corner, he's going to have to make sure he's got enough pop to get even higher. Doesn't want to overshoot, though. Nice job. Can he get the UFO grab without slipping out of the air surfer? Of course he can. Nice little twist. Dismount. <laughs> Taking a deep breath. Coming up on just one minute remaining. Leaping onto the first bucket. Back and forth we go. Up onto the second one. Hold tight, hold tight. It's a little off angle. It's got to steady himself. It's a bigger throw. Not quite able to get it. That's okay. He's going to cut that corner. Less shirt, more power. And less shirt, more slide. Less shirt, less time in the dryer. He's running <laughs> up 
all the way to the top of the slide. And oh, he's going head first. My <laughs> gosh, the first competitor to do so. And the buzzer. Great uh, job, Swan. Let's see if that's going to be enough to get him in that top 50%. Still set a great pace there. Awesome job. Ninja Cohen asks in the live stream, is there a way you can buy those X holes? The first two are uh, actually custom ones made by Stronghold, one of our sponsors, a Maxine, uh, Max Feinberg Special. You can get the smaller versions, the giant ones they have up there. I'm not too sure. Uh, I believe those are a Ninja Intensity custom job. Get the smaller ones. Go for those. But here's Hans Hertz on the course right now. Hans was our fastest competitor in stage one. Here he goes, climbing his way up. He's been on AW Jr. He is a competitor all over the country. Competes at various gym competitions. Trains out of here at Ninja Intensity. And now we're going to see him put in the work for our last runner of the evening. Back and forth we go. Enough swing here. Go on to the X holes. Nice job, Hans. Getting that swing built up for the dismount. Hips back, swinging Lachey, dismount. Nice work. Said he's good on the chunk right now. Thanks, Caden. I'm good. Leaping right away into it. Hopping his way up to the top. Out and around these rungs. Great work. One more big move. Got to get to that top rung there for a clear on the salmon ladder. Hans working his way now into the sky hook. Got to twist it around. Make sure it's in that locked position there. Back and forth swing we go. Makes a transfer. Steadies that swing just enough to get the dismount. Great job, Hans. Shaking out those hands. Making sure he can have the energy required for the air surfer. Locks it in. Good lock off there to steady his swing. Doesn't want a lot of swing going into this so it doesn't slide on him. Pops up the first one. Great tech. Watch those corners though. It's a little off angle. Hopefully it doesn't affect his transition here. And just overshoots that one side that was a little further out. That's his first mistake and only mistake he can make. Now he's going to ask for the chalk. For the bucket of chalk special. Last few upper body obstacles to go. Come on, Hans. Let's see how it stacks up. Up and over. Grabs on to that second bucket. Swinging back and forth here. Third one in hand, but slips forward, tips it forward. Hans, our fastest competitor from stage one. Just too quick on some of the grabs. Tough break, Mr. Hans. But that should do it for us and the competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate everybody's patience and hanging out with us. Here's a look at all of the various sponsors that have been in support of us here. The Bucket of Chalk competition could not happen with any of the without any of the support of many of these uh, fine sponsors here all over the country, many of local areas, um, coming for the support here at Ninja Intensity. I'm going to let Mr. Ninja Deganji, my cohort here, take it away for the closeout. Much appreciated. Yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, really appreciate you guys checking out the stream, uh, staying with us throughout all the technical difficulties, but uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, that's going to do it for stage two. And that's going to do it for stage two. So we're going to stay here. Give me one second. I'm getting word from the field. Give me one second. Give me one second. I'm getting word from the field. Give me one second. What do we got? Stage two prizes are going to be handed out, so we'll be doing some. We're going to be shouting out the sponsors a little bit right before going on to the main floor for their awards, and we're going to be tallying up the times and giving out stage-specific awards. So if you would like to see all that information, 
We'll be giving it to you just in a minute. Uh, one more question we had from somebody. We had somebody asking about the leaderboard. You can go to the uh, ninjamasterapp.com, one of our sponsors here, for the full breakdown. Um, we are working real quick on getting that leaderboard pulled up. Make try, sure and, try and quickly. It's going to be posted here eventually once everything's good to go. But Ninja Master app for all your timing needs. They're the ones you want to hit up for time for competition. NinjaMasterApp.com. That website. Again, not everyone who is leaving us, anyone sticking around, please hang to see if you want. Both male So you're really trying to review somebody else's call? Yeah, no, basically. Can't do it. Not allowed. Unless you get that athlete to say, oh, I dabbed. Because then that's on the judge. It's not your responsibility. Okay. I mean, at, okay, <laughs> sure. At, but at what point did, if everyone saw the mistake happening, they could call it miss. Like, at what point is it like, they did it, but it's in their best interest to not bring it up, you know? So it's like I don't disagree, but if the judge misses it, it's on one of the judges, and it can't be on the team. Because that's what makes me the bullshit, according to me. Right. Because we get all these parents coming in bitching about somebody else's call, and you can't have that. You don't have that in any other sport. Right. And I don't think so, it would be, I don't think in this case it would be an issue, unless, except for how strict they were with this set of contact, and then like one foot by. You know, but if it was a little more lenient on that, it's like, whatever, sure, it's fine, sure. it's in general. So that's, it yeah. just seems weird that there's no way to get something reviewed that if multiple people saw it happen and agreed that it happened, that it can't get reviewed. I don't disagree, but... Right. I, I, we put that rule in to eliminate that issue of everybody else bitching about it. Because it's got to come back on the judge. Sure. And, and in a football team or a basketball team, the judge is going to put that. Uh, and the referee or whatever, right? It's going to happen. Yeah. And the fan can't come run out and say, oh, this right. is this, 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 And that's what's happening. I don't care if there's a hundred people saw it. If the referee or the judge or whoever saw what they saw.
please. I know, I know, it's just for that. Just lying up here if I called your name. Crane guy. I've been trying to buy your shirt, man. When's Crane guy coming? 
Okay, we're good. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mountain time, so make sure you tune back in at 12 o'clock mountain time. So make sure you tune check back in for stage three. Check back in for stage three. Good to go. And uh